Hey guys, so we are definitely on the path to seeing the new Model 3 Highland on the roads in the next couple of weeks. There has been more and more sightings of the entire car fully uncovered practically every single day. This could only mean one thing and that is that they are up and ready prepared to launch this new Model 3 pretty much any day now. Now before that happens, there are a couple changes that have happened from then until now that we really got to discuss about. Before we get on to the latest with battery and power upgrades, let's roll back a little bit and talk about everything that we know so far. Just last week, we got our first real official sighting of the Performance Model 3 on public roads. This was during the filming of the commercials and ads for the upcoming Model 3 Performance and thanks to Desmond on X, we were able to view the entire event take place in Spain and get a glimpse of what the upcoming model will look like. So although these were all rumors just a few months back, we have finally gotten official confirmation of all the changes happening to the exterior of this car. The front bumper now looks insanely aggressive than what we had previously on the long range and the base model. There are now air ducts on the side of each bumper and these are all functional vents providing a lot of cooling to the upgraded brakes on this newer trim. Then there's also the nice front splitter right at the bottom of the bumper. This is not simply just for aesthetical reasons. This is going to be playing a big part in the amount of downdraft and overall air dynamics of the car. Now this may not actually be it for the front end. Recent images have emerged with the Model 3 Performance sitting inside of a garage all taped up with the Velcros but there is one special spot that they've taped up that really gives us an idea that it could possibly be more of a change. Now this is obviously just hopeful thinking but the headlights are covered and duct taped in a way that makes us believe that there could be some slight changes to the daytime running light. I am looking for a more distinct look overall maybe some more more aggressive lines within the headlight housing but like I said this could be all just wishful thinking and we might just be sticking to what we have right now and then just a nice little touch here we also got a clear shot of the interior seats and this is the new sport seats that we have been rumoring and talking about for the past couple of months these new seats here are going to provide a massive amount of bolstering and there are a lot of aesthetical pieces to it that make it feel very special compared to what we have on the other trims if you want to know more about these seats and all the upgraded components definitely go check out my previous video I will drop a link in the description below and up top there definitely check that out so now going to the rear of this car this is where you're going to see the majority of the differences within this trim starting off the most obvious one is going to be the new ludicrous badge this badge here is going to indicate that your car has the most powerful motor in the model 3 and it's going to be able to accelerate at such insane speeds Pretty much, if you roll up to a stop with a Model 3 and this badge, it's better off just to back off. Here is a good look at the Model 3 with the Ludicrous badge on its own and ready to be installed in the new vehicles. Alright, so moving up to the top of the trunk, this is where you're going to see the updated and more improved spoiler. All in all, this is marginally bigger and more pronounced than what we had previously and it is a little bit more angled off on the side to further improve on the aerodynamics. Of course, there is going to be a battle between the amount of downforce, the aero, and the amount of range you're able to get with this lip, but I think the team has done a really great job in balancing between the two. Now, moving down to the bottom of the bumper, you are going to notice something quite different. There is now a more protruded part connected to the bottom of the bumper. This is going to be the new rear diffuser that we have been talking about for multiple months. This is going to be exclusive to the Performance Ludicrous model and if you look way underneath the bumper you are going to see some sectioning with vertical lines running with the car. This will be used to further stabilize the car and provide additional aerodynamics during higher top speeds. Although this is not the most visual part of the car, this is going to make the performance really a performance. Alright, so now we turn our attention to the side profile of the car which pretty much wraps up the entire exterior look. To be quite honest, not much has changed in this aspect as Tesla is still basing it off of the original Model 3 platform. But one thing here that has really changed is the upcoming new wheel design and the staggered setup. Speaking of wheels, I want to take a moment and thank our sponsor Megback for sending over this really awesome product for us to take a look at. This is the rim case wheel protector and exactly as it is in the name, this is the full on protection you need if you really cherish your set of wheels. Megback has really put a lot of effort into the modular interlocking design of the rim case, making sure that it fits 
precisely on your rims and at the same time making it easy to swap any pieces in case of curb damage. Not only did the team focus on the design of the rim case, they've also put a lot of attention to detail in the installation process. Included in each wheel package is a full set of protective films, cleaning wipes, tools, and clear step-by-step -step instruction on how to get the best fitment. And the best part about all this is once everything is set and done, you won't be able to tell it's even there. This is the most subtle and clean look you're ever going to get with any rim protector on the market. So if you're interested in keeping your rims looking perfect and you want a rim case, I would drop a link in the description below and if you use the discount code JOHNE15 at checkout, you will get 15% off. Alright, so getting back to the video, the staggered wheel design is going to be very similar to the Model S Plaid where the front is marginally smaller than what the rear is. As most of the grunt and the push is coming from the rear of the car, it makes a lot of sense that the rear wheels are going to be marginally bigger. Now these new wheels here are going to be the 20 inch warp design with the P0R20s fitted on top. Overall, this is a really fantastic look and it also brings some additional efficiency compared to what we had prior on the performance models, now running with the aero caps attachments on. Alright, so here we finally get to it, the latest on the battery and drivetrain technology that is going to be coming to this performance. Model 3. According to the latest publication by Korea's DC Inside, the Model 3 performance certification has been leaked with all the relevant information. First off, this is going to be manufactured in China with all the codes corresponding to the Model 3 performance ludicrous. This certification also includes all the relevant information in regards to real world testing. This is going to be the range, the emissions, and the battery and weight overall. But really, the most important thing here that we are are going to be focusing on is the amount that we are getting with the battery size and the performance that it's really going to output. Well, according to this certification, we are going to be getting 215 horsepower on the front axle and we are getting 412 on the rear. Combined, this will be 627 horsepower between the two motors and there is a future potential for a boost unlock which should bring this over 700. Now, if you want to know more about this acceleration unlock and this this boost option which should supposedly bring it over 700 horsepower. Definitely go check out my previous video which we will be talking about the ludicrous plus mode. I will drop that in the description below and up top there. Now the biggest game changer about these motors isn't necessarily the horsepower but the amount and how quick it's going to reach up to top speed without losing any steam. These new motors here are going to be based off of the Palladiums which is going to be the Model S's and X's. If you take a look at the chart we have right here here, it continues to accelerate up all the way until 200 kilometers per hour, whereas the previous Model 3 tapers off at around 60. This is such an amazing feat for such a small little vehicle, and this is likely going to be accelerating from 0 to 60 somewhere in the mid 2 seconds. As for the battery capacity, with additional calculations with the real world data that this certification provides, it looks like we are going to be peaking at 82 kilowatt hour pack size, so this is what you're going to be achieving when you are looking at real world data. So although these figures may match up with all the things that we have been talking about for the last couple of months with all the leaks and rumors, take this with a grain of salt as we do not know for sure if all these figures are correct. It looks like every single day that we are getting closer and closer to the unveiling, we are getting a lot more images and leaks of this car. So I would definitely be staying up to date with all of this and providing you guys with the latest information as quickly as possible. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on X at HeyJohnE. That's where you guys can DM me and chat with me over there. Of course, if you want to support the channel, you guys already know where to go. This should wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.